Oh man. Reaper of Souls is out today, everybody, and uh, we're going to be checking this out. This is Let's Level Up .net. My name is Rick, and um, I think we're going to check out the Crusader a bit first. There's a couple of really cool things here in this game now. So if I start a game, or or if I go to game settings, um, there's an adventure mode, which is interesting. Um, I can change all my different... Uh, difficulties and there's also multiplayer settings that you can have set tags in so people can find your game and join games a little bit easier and you can find I think alike players a little bit easier which is really nice um, you can of course choose what you want go through the campaign um, one of the big things here is uh, we've got the Crusader now who is basically the Paladin um, so hopefully he's a little bit more offensive than your typical paladins, because I'm not generally a big fan of those. But we'll see. Um, let me see. Let me leave. Okay. So can I clear chat? Let's, how do I do that? Help. Uh, Yikes. Bye. <laughs> hmm. Don't think so. Uh, we do have a Let's Level Up clan uh, right now. It's <laughs> just the one guy. This guy. Uh, but if you're interested in playing with us, uh, by all means, look us up on Twitter. That's at Let's Level Up. And uh, send me a message there. And we'd be very happy to get you in on that because I think that'd be a whole lot of fun to play with some of you guys that are out there. Um, we could do something voice chat or maybe even hang out and play. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be a great time. Um, okay, that being said, let's let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. I'm not quite sure of all the different uh, additions to this game uh, as far as crafting goes and things like that. So I know there's another act tagged on at the end. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip through that because you guys have probably already seen that. Okay, so let's see what we have. Punish, five wrath per attack. It generates that. So this is a uh, mana generation. Uh, strike an enemy and gain hardened senses. Increases your chance to block for a short time. And then a melee attack. Okay. And I'm assuming that's our wrath. And it looks like it is accumulating a little bit per second, which is nice. Okay. Okay, looks like that Wrath is just a shield bash. No, he's swinging with his he's swinging with his Morning Star there. Let's see, starting equipment wise, just a rusty flail and a Crusader's shield. And this is on the hard difficulty. Okay, let's just bust these guys up really quick. Yeah, the sounds, man. The sounds are just gross, especially if you have uh, a decent set of headphones. Not that these are the best or anything, but um, you get 3D sound in there, and you early surround sound, and you get just sounds gnarly. Okay, so we're gonna go in here, talk to Leia. I want to make sure you pick up these books. They're a good way to get experience points. Okay, I did see my block proc right there, which is kind of nice. Alright, the siege is over, Leia. We're here to help. Okay. Talk to anybody here yet? Apprentice Rusty Flail. Let's see, eleven point two. Was plus, <laughs> oh plus two hundred seventy three point three percent damage increase. Yeah, I think we'll equip that. And is there any? I have no armor I can equip. Really? 
Okay. I find that highly suspect, but alright. Kane's house. I think Kane's got a book back here you could read as well. And of course we have to go rescue the, our good friend Kane. And we're going to want to make sure that he is alright at the end of the day. Okay, let's get this guys. You want to make sure you get the queens taken care of pretty quick. Uh, the queens can generate more, so that's always important to take them out. So we got one regenerate life per second, six boots, and a new active skill. Let's see, shield bash. Okay, charge your nearby enemy, bashing them all nearby foes violently with your shield. Okay, and punish. Let's see what else we got. Slash. Ignite the air in front of you, damaging all enemies in flames. Smite. Smite enemies 15 yards away with holy chains. Oh, a little Ghost Rider action. I like that. I guess this one really aren't holy, huh? Hmm. Um, they deal a large amount of damage. The chains break off and strike nearby enemies, dealing lesser damage. That's cool. Hurl a hammer of justice at your enemies. Fist of Heavens, call forth a pillar of light from the heavens that explodes and splits into multiple bolts, damaging all nearby enemies. Blessed shield, hurl a celestial shield and smashes into enemies and ricochets between them. Well, a little Captain America action like that. So many blessed hammer that spins around you, damaging all enemies hit and sweep attack. Uh, a mystical flail through, uh, sweep a mystical flail through your enemies before dealing a large amount of damage. Oh, through all enemies before you dealing a large amount of damage. Okay. And I can't see these until I've got them unlocked or my passive skill, so I'm kind of blind here, but that's all right. Get off of him. He's a wretched mother right there. I just say this, <laughs> you're just one shotting everything because of that, that stinking. Uh, plus three life after each kill. Um, I don't care about the regenerate. It's only one point right now. I'd rather have the extra point of armor. Oh, that's so nice. So shield blast bash looks like it'd be, it's going to be a good way to close the distance, which every melee class needs in this game. A good way to avoid other damage as well, right? So if there's traps or whatever on the ground, you can make sure that you don't take any of that damage unnecessarily if you don't need to be. God, <laughs> grief! Uh, you know, this is just a little unfair. Can we? I think we can. You cannot raise the difficulty any higher without starting a new game. Ugh. I wonder why they did that. I wonder if we can just raise it up just a bit. Let's see, there's probably it's probably not. Oh, I keep getting caught on. No, there's no monsters to click on, so it's just he's just gonna run in place basically. Harden your block amount, so each time I swing, you get more hardened. And a new active skill, Slash, has been unlocked. Let's see. Slash generates wrath. Okay. I'm in a fire. Fire's good. We may get to our first waypoint and uh, exit this out and up the difficulty up a bit because I think it needs to be a bit a bit more difficult to be interesting, especially in these early zones. I mean, and this is all content I'm sure most of you have seen already. So if so, I apologize, but hopefully we can kind of experience what Reaper of Souls has, at least in the creator. Um, 
going forward. And I, and I think that this will be a good way to do it. At least that's my intention. Okay. Quill fi Oh, look at the distance on that. Why aren't you charging? I don't know why it wasn't charging right there, but I don't like it. Sorry about your luck, buddy. Okay, I do like the multiple attack and multiple hits on an attack. Um, it doesn't seem to be packing the same kind of wallet that Punish had. Uh, dealing damage to enemies caught in the flame. So maybe a little bit lesser damage. Some of those shoes on. There we go. Okay, we got another active shield. Shield glare. Lighter up from your shield, blinding all enemies in front of you. This also gives us iron skin. Your skin turns to iron, protecting you from most damage for a short duration. And consecration. Consecration the ground in front of you. Uh, you and your allies while standing on the consecrated ground get healed. Interesting. And pass judgment on enemies in the zone. Mobilize them for short duration. Okay. Shield glow. Let's just see what shield look, see what it looks like. Oh wow. That was a heck of a cone. I like cones. Cones are good. Especially when you're in one of the more um the more set dungeon type atmospheres they have in this game. There's a lot of those. Uh, they're eating. Oh, you know, I didn't even... <laughs> there we go. You could take that shield glare. Probably should have made sure to use it on the group of them, but that's all right. Let's see. Magic boots. I can't live without that regenerate one hit point. That's for sure. Oh, magic shield. Nine regenerates one hit point. Uh, I'm going to keep the armor. I don't see the point in not having the armor when we're just talking about one hit point. It seems just a bit silly. These wretched queens just don't stand a chance in that shield bash. Good grief. And I know I've got a, probably a bit of an OP weapon for this, but it's just kind of silly how strong that thing is. Okay, she it took two to kill the big boss um, of the ruins. But still, that's that's pretty dang impressive. Okay. Yeah, this is um it's a bit of the same. Right? I don't know if there's anything new that I should be taking advantage of other than the Crusader, or if they're just expecting people to blow through the starting content with the Crusader again. Ah, uh, but here's our waypoint. We are going to head back to town and we are going to exit this game, bump the difficulty up. Oop. Pop the difficulty up a bit, and then come right back. Save game. Game settings change. Okay, let's go to master.
All right, we're back. We're here with on the master setting now. And let's see if that is going to allow us to get a better better loot, more experience and a bit of more of a challenge. That is the goal. That is the uh I think the overall mission here. Get something a bit more interesting to watch for you guys. Oh, Leia, your room is lovely. Just absolutely lovely. Okay. Oh, you know what? We got we got this that we could be using. Let's put these. Let's put our There we go. Now we're a crusader. Crusader of the Scourge. Or the Hive. The Scourge. The Swarm. What is the Scourge? Oh, the Scourge are the um, undead from Warcraft 3. Okay. This is a bit better. Oh, look at that. Actually taking some damage. This is much, much better. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Oh, taking die, taking lots of damage. Okay, all right. We have to do this a bit more intelligently now. Give me more life. How oh, I miss that guy completely. <laughs> oh, got these spiders on the ground. Oh my goodness, that was almost bad. We may have bitten off a bit more than we could chew for our gear setting by switching this to master so early. But we aren't getting... It's taking a much longer time, so I don't know if it's necessarily a bigger benefit. If you look at um, it just from a simple math standpoint, if you can kill 100 enemies at normal experience in the time it takes you to kill uh, 10 and plus a hundred experience or plus a hundred percent experience does that work am I getting that right or not so let's say a hundred oh goodness a hundred gives you let's say ten experience points per zombie I kill a hundred that's gonna be a thousand And if I kill 10 at plus 100% experience points, which would be 20 experience points, I'm only talking about um, I'm only talking about 200 at that point. Is that right? <laughs> no, it's 10,000 versus 2,000. Good grief! My mental math is just just atrocious. I mean, it's it's despicable really you know I'm gonna switch it back to punish and see if whoa see if punish is a bit better on the off oh jeez Louise oh you know what I didn't think about this but I have gained a couple levels let's portal really quick and oh I can't portal yet ah <sighs> Oh, we know, we know what we can. We've got a portal right here. So it took me just to that to clear that little elbow. But I bet I can actually, since I am level 5 now, I can actually create some army here at Hadrig. Um, yeah, here we go. So Prince Boots. Let's craft those guys. Let's get some chest armor and a shield as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay, regenerate one life per second. I'll take it. 17 armor boots, plus 7 vitality for sure. 
And then 61 Force Strength reduces the cooldown of all skills by 4%, maximum of 2 Wraith. Uh, wrath. Wraith. Good, I can't even read. Um, oh, let's see. My brother actually sent me a message. can't see it over my big head. Um, he is a Diablo Pro. Oh, and I teleported back to the same thing. Okay, so this may be a bit better now. We may we may be okay. In every level, we can go back and see what all we've got. Um, let's see. Switch Slash to Punish. And Sweep Attack. Fifth, yeah, let's do that. Let's try something like that. Okay, here we go. There's a boss down here. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is very good. Oh, get out of there. I will say I missed the mobility. But I think this is going to be better for us. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 24, 18, 21, 33, 34. Okay, so this is a much more powerful attack. Um then punish. But after this, I can actually go through and switch it back and see what all we're gaining slash losing from that. Okay, so what do we got? A couple different items here. 11.2 damage, 1.2 arcane damage, reduces all resources cost by 5%, um, versus 9.2 two-hander. What kind of sense does that make? We do get some gauntlets out of the deal. Which is good. Get some more armor. Absorb some of that damage that we're taking. Alright. And... And, on top of that... I thought we'd get our portal, but I guess that's not till later. Go to the cathedral. So we're supposed to wander a bit. Look at that. Uh, he looks starting to look pretty dang cool, man. Tier tier zero point zero. Okay, let's let's fight a boss. I think this is what skull cleaver or something like that. Come on out, skull cleaver. Head cleaver. I'm sorry. So in the 80, 90. So basically, I'm just going to try to keep this guy stunned and use all of my wrath on sweeping attack while I've got it, build back up, stun him, do it over and over. Um. I don't know of any real tricks at this level to do to try to mitigate melee damage other than just try to rely on my block. Oh, some better pants. And a better helm. Alright, good on you, Head Cleaver. Okay, Kane, teach me how to town portal. Do I? I forget. Do I have my access to all my gold? Yeah, I do. So let's go back to Tristram. We'll complete this quest. Oh, I like that. 
That's worth the substituting the one armor for, for sure. Okay, we're going to go in here. We're going to pick up our new books. Or our old books. I think maybe Leia wrote one about Kane being back. We'll check the armor to see what we've got in terms of that. And then we may call it for this. And actually may turn on this to actually be a stream um, here a bit later, too. Any new stuff in terms of armor? Oh, yeah. Heater shield. Oh, give me, give me, give me. 95. 10.2 damage increase. 58 toughness. Yes. Here we go. Better pants as well. With the cuffs. Okay, great. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, <laughs> don't forget, always carry potions. Um, especially if you actually are going to be... Oh, no, no, never mind. It's level 3 rares, why? Um, who sells potions here, the collector? Here we go, health potion, 500! What a racket. Okay, I plan on actually using those, so I guess that's okay for a trade. <clears throat> you know what? Let's let's take care of Hadrig's wife really quick, because this is it's both sad and a little unnerving at the same time. Um, you do get an experience if you let him give the final killing blow um, so that's something if you guys are experience or achievement junkies that is a um, a neat one we're up to 120 damage on our sweeping strike Hundred and nineteen. it's not hitting them all for the same amount though which is interesting 125 99, 89, so there is a bit of variance there, and it looks like each monster is individually getting their own uh, damage rolls done. Uh. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, this is nice. I'm not taking that much damage. Oh, that was a big hit. Uh, but I'm not taking much damage from her. Ouch. Sorry, I wanted you to do it, Hadrick, but you just took too dang long, man. Okay. Mm, great. Oh, you know what? We're so close to level 9. We can get level 9 really quick, see what other skills, because I think this unlocks, utility skills unlock at level 9, which is nice. Iron skin, turns to iron, protecting you for damage. Um, well, that's neat. Right, so let's go ahead and go into the Weeping Hollow. And see if we can find anything in here really quick to fight, and of course we do. Oh, why'd I take that damage? Well, I've got iron skin. Oh, look at that! It just completely. That was, a, that was visually that was very cool. Let's see. Hatred's apprentice is usually pretty dang close to town. He he doesn't he does he rarely makes it far. Uh, just from the gates before he ends up meeting his end untimely demise. Okay, we're starting to uh, we're starting to pick up a little bit of steam here um, with this whole master thing. Dot 
Die, you're dead. Provoke. Ooh, he's got a taunt. And you're dead. Ah, oh, see, now, now we're starting to, to fight and not just be an idiot. get it get it see I would I would say I was gonna end the video five minutes ago <laughs> and I have it yet uh, the Crusader is actually pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to like him as much as I have been yet. The, I really enjoy the sweeping attack. But let's take a look at utility skills here. Um, provoke is one. Taunt all nearby enemies. Steed charge. Mount a celestial war horse that allows the rider to ride through enemies unhindered for a short time. Cool. Condemn. Build up a massive explosion unleashing after three seconds. And phalanx. Summon powerful avatars who charge forward to t target the destination. Um, interesting. And we got a new slash as well. The slash becomes pure lightning, potentially stunning its enemies that it hits. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try it out. Let's see. 61 damage. I guess this is about the same, but it does have the added stun, which is nice. It could, uh, keep us from taking some damage. Anytime we can mitigate damage, of course, it is a good thing. See, it's one of those things I'm going to be done, you know, any second now. I'm going to be finished with this. Um, but I just keep, like, there's just one more thing i got to do. Um, and that's not, <laughs> that's not 100% healthy. Uh, I just, I expected his, his Hadrix's uh, apprentice to be right here somewhere. Let's just wander. He's here. I can feel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> These guys may get us. I can't get out of it. Okay. No. <laughs> There's just too many of them. Hey, big guy. You get I am. I can't get out of here. We can run back to town. No, it's for cowards. We just need a potion, and then we need a strike. Okay, we got one of them. Okay, we got this. We got this. I taunted him. I taunted I don't know why I taunted him. As if they weren't mad at me enough already. Oh, we got him. Sweet. Whew. That was a great try. That was interesting. That was very good. You know what? We're going to wrap it up here. Regan, do you want to say anything to the camera? Can they see you? I don't know if they can see you. Come over here. Making his Let's Level Up debut on the camera. This what? is my boy, my son. What kind of guy do you have? It's a crusader guy. He's a knight. Daddy, I always wanted, like, two guys. Oh, <laughs> I bet you did. This game's a little too grown up for you, big guy. But, uh, we may be able to set something up for you. Okay? Like a warrior thing? Yeah, maybe. So, that being said, guys, this is going to end this video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you're still watching, uh, as always, give us a thumbs up on the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, definitely uh, thank you for watching this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. As I'm trying to get my sign out, we find Hadrix Apprentice. Oh, and a couple wretched... We just got to take these guys out really quick.